with an historic set of reparations, a plan for eligible black residents. City Council approving a major first step last night. WGN's Gaynor Hall is live in Evanston with details. Gaynor? Yeah, Ray and Micah, the effort took a big step forward last night, but one alderman says it's reparations in name only. There's no Bower Place on the city map of Evanston anymore. The story of Bower Place is part of Carlos B. Sutton's family history. He says what's now a parking lot across from Willard Elementary School is where his grandfather built his home, but was forced to move it to Foster Street. Sometimes around 1927, they told the people, the residents, they could have their house, but they couldn't have the land. What he had worked hard for and built was just ripped off the map. The land clearance program was one of the ways black residents were pushed into certain parts of the city. In Evanston, we have on our books intentional zoning discrimination against the black community. Alderman Robin Rue Simmons has led the reparations effort. In 2019, the city council voted to commit $10 million collected from its tax on recreational marijuana sales. And last night, the council voted 8 to 1 to allocate the first 400000 for a housing program providing up to $25,000 to black home buyers or home owners. Alderman Cicely Fleming was the lone no vote. She says reparations are long overdue, but this isn't it. As a housing program, I think it's great. As a reparations program, this falls very flat to me. Nothing would be enough for the kinds of discrimination that my family endured over the years that they've been in this community. But Sutton believes the plan is a start, and he says elderly residents should be prioritized. For all of us who are closer to a casket than we are to obtaining a new mortgage, we need that kind of relief, and we need it now. So this would be a great help to me to remain in this community. And he says he will apply as soon as those applications become available. Supporters are hoping that Evanston could serve as a model for other communities across the country, including Chicago. Reporting live tonight from Evanston, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.